Hi, this is Jackie with the Bold Roll team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a sequence called a campaign to the workflow so that you will be able to automate your emails according to actions your subscribers might take in the workflow. So before I get started, remember that you can only use a campaign sequence in the workflow and not a normal sequence that is connected to a list. Now, right here on my screen, you will see that I've created two sequences. One is a campaign. The other one is a sequence. The campaign is the one that we are going to use in the workflow because the sequence is already attached to a specific list. Now, in the digital marketing campaign is two emails, and I want you to make a mental note so that you can see what it looks like in the workflow. So I'm going to click on update and I left it on purpose, one as sending and the other one paused because you would not be able to actually change anything inside of one of these emails if it is active. So for now, I'm just gonna go to the one that's on pause and I'm gonna click on update. And I'm just gonna click save so that I can get past this area right here, just to get to the place where you choose the time period. Now you can see that we've got a waiting time section right here. It's a blue bubble that gives you some information as to how it works in the workflow. If you want to determine the time periods that a person needs to wait before he's going to receive the next sequence, then it is best to leave this on zero and not actually uh, change it here, unless you want to set it up here and not make use of the waiting times inside of the workflow. So for this example, we're going to leave it on zero. And I'm just going to click on save and activate so that we can have both activated. So now that has been updated, both is sending. I'm just going to go to close. So let's go to the workflow. We're going to click on create workflow. And in this example, we're going to start with on subscribe at. And we're going to choose the list that we want to work with. So I'm just going to say digital marketing list. I'm going to click save. And now we need to create the trigger. And the trigger in this example is to send that specific campaign. So you can see send campaign. And I'm going to click. And you can see there is a digital marketing campaign. I told you earlier to make a mental note and you to remember that there was two emails. And you can see them both sitting right here. So which was the first one that we are going to send? In this case, it's this one, number one. We're going to click Save. So now it's been added. You can see we've got Send Campaign being added. Now we are going to send the next one. So we're going to click on the plus. And we're going to look for Send Campaign. And there's obviously a lot of different things that you can do. You can even add whether it needs to check if the previous campaign was open before you send the next. But in this example, we're just going to do the two. We're going to send that one. Now remember, we did not set up the time periods inside of the email itself. So we need to make sure that we add it right here in the flow. So right on top of this button right here is a plus. We're going to click on that and we're going to make use of the waiting period. And we're going to tell them that they need to wait before they are going to send the next one. So in this case, we can say five days or let me rather say two days. That sounds better. And I'm going to click save. And that's basically what's going to happen is after the person has subscribed, it's going to send the first one in the campaign. Then it's going to wait two days and then it will send the next. And that is how you're going to keep adding it all the different kinds of campaigns that you have. Uh, the last thing you need to do is obviously name it. And then you're going to click save. And that is how easy it is to create a campaign inside of the workflow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in another. Bye.